Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bella's Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! When Irish eyes are smiling, sure it's like the morning spring. And the lilt of Irish laughter, you can hear the angels sing. When Irish hearts are happy, all the world seems bright and gay. And when Irish eyes are smiling, sure they'll steal your heart away. When Irish eyes are happy, all the world seems bright and gay. And when the Irish eyes are smiling, sure they'll steal your heart away. Okay, guys, happy St. Patrick's Day and welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy. Thank you, Effingham. Nope. You have absolutely no Irish in you, not a bit, not even a smidgen. Okay, guys. Hey, today is theme Thursday, but it also happens to be, what? St. Patrick's Day. And so you know what I'm not going to do? Not one St. Patrick's Day craft. Not a one. I did one this year. It was my little St. Patrick's Day gnome that was a Christmas. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Last year, I did like a lot of St. Patty's Day, and I realized like, it's not really a big holiday, and I just don't need to make that many crafts for it. So um, maybe one or two a year. Anyway, and I'm not even Irish. I'm Scottish. My mom used to make me wear orange on St. Patrick's Day because we were Scottish. If you understand that, just comment down below. Okay, so today, the theme today is garlands. Like, garlands. And you know what? Effingham, I was really thinking that maybe I would put one of these garlands around your neck. Okay, yes, we can do that. I, it might go with your hat. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. Okay, so anyway... If you're new to the channel, stick around because we always have really a whole bunch of fun on this channel. Just come on into my kitchen, grab something to drink, coffee, soda, water, booze, I don't care. Come on in, sit down, let's have some conversations, and let's craft. But I don't just craft. Just so you know, this channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree, and you know why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. A dollar and a quarter. So, um, and everything that I that I do all my crafts all my all my supplies come from the Dollar Tree like everything comes from the Dollar Tree so I don't get it from Michaels and then from wherever blah 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 no I just go to the Dollar Tree so um today's theme is garlands and it's Easter I'm sorry because it's still some Easter stuff that I bought that I really liked and anyway so I just did it I just made some garlands for you so let's dive into that but before we do I just want to remind everybody I have giveaways and um, I believe this weekend, I'm going to give away some Easter gnomes. So make sure that you watch. You get a set of these three Easter gnomes. On Saturday, I'll be doing that. And so make sure you watch Saturday's haul. So also, last Saturday, I was giving away the beaded garlands. And so I'll announce that winner this next Saturday. And it's the, this the, the set of the three of these. There's the rabbit one, the bunny one, and the chick one. There's orange, there's pink and blue and yellow beaded one. And anyway... They're super cute. I don't know where they are. Maybe I should get them. It's this. So, anyway, I'm giving away the set of these three very coveted wood bead things that they make with the tassels. This is obviously the Easter selection. There's three of them. That's the one with the bunny. There's the carrot. There's the chickie. So, I'm going to give that set away on Saturday and then start the next drawing for these. So I'm going to be for the next few Saturdays. I'm really trying to push and grow that. Um, and Saturdays have my best, the best reviews. So, all right, shall we move along? I need to like remind everybody it's March and March is my postcard drive. So if you subscribe to this channel, I refer to you lovingly as besties. 
And so in 2025, Marks and I are getting in an RV. We're going across the country to dollar stores and meeting our besties. So um, we're trying to like do a map and like start pinning people. So we're going to do postcard drives. So March is a postcard drive for us. So start sending it to your postcards. The address to send it to is in the description box down below. It's PO box. So send those off. Okay, what else do I need to tell you? Giveaways? I think that's it. I think we're ready to go. If you want to know anything about the uploads I do, read down below. Except Foodie Friday is no longer Foodie Friday. Did I change it on my description? I'm not sure. It's beanies and robes now on Sunday. Okay, way too much. Let's go. I have to go to a bar and work, so I got to get going. Um, and, like, I'm not really totally St. Patty'd out yet because normally I'd have, like, a, a shamrock tattoo thing. And so I'm not done. I'll get there. All right. I made for you today one, two, three, four. I realize I don't have one of my garlands. Okay, so I made one, two, three. I did make four garlands. Four, is that right? Yeah, that's right. All right, so the first one I'm gonna show you is, it's so long, I can't, I've gotta like, I'm gonna have to do it like this, just to show you. All right, so these are the treat sacks that they have, and there's more than one pattern. There's the bunnies with the plaid and the bunnies with the polka dot ears. See the beads in the middle? Thank you to my bestie m, m who sent me all of that wonderful stuff. I used those in between each thing. I took apart some of those wooded wood bead garlands. Okay, so let's go through this. I used, um, I think, four packages, and I had one extra bunny afterwards. So I put them together, and in between the packages, I used their drawstring. Each bunny is stuffed with two napkins to give it a little bit of um, volume. And then I put one string on one side through, one string on the other side through, and then knotted them in the middle of the two bunnies. I did add a dab of hot glue because this nylon stuff will, um, it will come undone. So I just added like a little dab of hot glue where the, the knots were, but you can't see it. You don't even notice it except that I just told you where it is. All right, so this is super cute. <laughs> the ears, they're cute though, aren't they? Um, okay, so... I want to tell you, the other thing that I did on this one was that I added like weight into this one so that I can put my garland up, weighted here, and then the other side is weighted. It's my anchor, which I like to do when I do a garland so I can put them almost anywhere. They don't have to hook. I just anchor them. This is a long garland. This is probably an eight foot garland. So this is a good size garland. I feel like it's super cute and like super like nursery or be super cute in that. So... That was the treat sacks. I love to use the treat sacks for garlands. You guys know that. Um, and so that was one. But then I did a second one with treat sacks. And I don't know which one. I think I like this one a little bit better. So for the anchors on this one, I did not put any weight. I just used the, the wooded bead. But what happens is there's always a space where there's no beads. You know, there has to be the mobility of the beads. So that's perfect because you put it where you want it. And then you twist it and hook hook it on, right? All right. So anyway, this is the this is the carrot treat sacks. These are so stinking cute. And I used Dollar Tree bags to stuff in there, and then I knotted them, pulled them, I drew, drew them together and knotted them. Like this is so stinking cute. And then I did the tassel on the end so that I could hang it, right? Can you guys see if I hang it like right here? Yeah. So I just twist. And then voila, it's hung. And then I would hang it on the other side. It's actually a super cute like kitchen garland. Definitely a cute kitchen garland. And this thing again is probably, I might guess it's about 10 feet, maybe a little bit longer. And it was um, two, four, three packages of the um, treat bags that were the carrots, which are new this year. I've never seen them before. If they aren't new this year, I've never seen them before. Okay, so I think this is super cute also. Really like it. Um, and so easy. These garlands today were so easy. All right, when I did my haul last week weekend, I sh kind of showed you guys that I was going to do this. And I was like, okay, I'm making a garland out of it. And I'm going to show you. Now, this is a much smaller, smaller garland. I'm trying to get it the right way. I think I have to go this way. <laughs> um, but it's so cute and so farmhouse. And so this one's turned the wrong way. I don't know why. Um, okay. Let's talk about it. No anchor on these, by the way, I just looped it at the end. So, and I lost, I didn't, for some reason I didn't get the film where every other one I did a jute bow and then I did the larger burlap kind of ribbon bow. 
So this is, you'll see in the video, this is those glass stickers that they're for like mason jars. And I was like, yeah, but they still look like egg decorations. And they do, and it came out perfect, and I love this. So this one is only, it's probably about four feet long, I'm gonna guess. So farmhouse, so cute. I'm just, I'm in love with the, with the glass stickers on the eggs. It's twisting all over right now, but obviously when you hang it up, you just push in the way you want. But, and every other one, it was jute, then the thicker, then the jute. And I missed that, um, I didn't film it for some reason, but I just hot glued them on there. Okay, there's that one. And then I think this is my favorite one. No, I know this is my favorite one. Oh, I so love this. Okay, so when I do garlands, that last one I just did, I just did a loop on it. So you, you're gonna, you're gonna, you know, hook it onto something. But I do like to put an anchor on garlands so that I can hang them over something. So check out the anchor on this one, first of all. It's those bottle brush carrots that I just hauled. They're little miniature wood things because this is so farmhouse. I took a big carrot ornament and a little one and put them together because look at the dimension it gives me on that ornament, on those hanging. Simple. I did nothing to the wood. I love their wood stuff. I don't feel like you have to, especially with their wood ornaments. I think it just screams farmhouse. I don't need to paint them. I don't need to, I mean, you can obviously, but I like to use them in their natural form. And this with the, with the tail of the carrots is just too, Stinking adorable. So hang this up somewhere, and then you have your carrot anchor hanging down. Right? Oh my gosh, this is my favorite. So, um, all right, those were four different garlands for you guys. I hope you like those. I've got to go start drinking. No, I'm not Irish. Yes, I do. Okay, so this is my favorite. Let me know which one's your favorite. I think they're all good in their own way. Um, and then it just, a lot of that depends too, is like, where do you have to hang garlands? You know, if you have an extensive fireplace or something like that carrot one with the, is super cute. I don't even know where, oh, this one. Is this very, very sort of whimsical, fun Easter? Um, you know, I don't know. Anyway, so there's lots of things that you could, that you could, lots of ways that you could use this, right? So. I don't know, just depends on where you put a garland. All right, I'm babbling, I'm babbling, it's time to go. So, all right, you guys, have a great day, great week, a great life. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Tell me if there's something fun that you do on St. Patrick's Day. Every year I go and my friend has a bar, usually I go and help set up, I'm a little late today, and then um, hang out all day. So, uh, and help if they need it. And it's a huge party there. Um, anyway, do you guys do anything special for St. Patty's Day or do you just stay home? and watch the ball drop. No, wait, but I couldn't do a video without a ball. All right, let's go. So everybody, uh, from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree and enjoy the rest of this little video here showing you how I made those super easy, super easy garlands for you. Thanks guys. Happy Sandy Patties. I'll see you back here on Saturday for Shopping Saturday. Toodles. This is just gonna be such a simple garland. So these are these shaped gift bags. They're carrots, they're super cute. So I'm just gonna take each gift bag and stuff it with a Dollar Tree bag. Maybe two, pull it tight and then connect them here and make that the garland. And then I'm gonna anchor the garland on each side with one of the carrot um, would be garlands. So I think it's gonna be really cute. So this one is pretty easy. I used obviously the Dollar Tree bag, like I said, and stuffed one in each one of those. A good use for those bags because we're all in the housing. And then um, just took the two ends from each side and just knotted them. I mean, it was seriously that simple. Obviously, these are a larger piece, so this is for an area where you could put a more substantial um, garland. And then I just sort of um, counted evenly down uh, the garland, like six beads or something, and then tied it on there. But of course, you could do that however you wanted. And then there you go. That's cute. In my kitchen, right there. Um, I just hung it there so I can get a picture of it. Anyway, hope you guys like this one. It was so easy. 
but so cute. And then we move on to the bunny. Okay, so this one, I have these treat socks, which are super cute. They have two different patterns on the ears. Um, and all I'm doing is opening them up, and I'm taking just some regular napkins, like you would get at a restaurant, <laughs> or just the, you would buy at the Dollar Tree. And I'm opening up each sack, and I'm putting like two napkins in it. Just so easy. And then I'm drawing it just so they have a little bit of tiny bit of fullness. So I'm gonna open them all up and get them stuffed. Then we're gonna put them together and make our garland. All right, so I took one side of these, like the drawstring, and I just unknotted it because there's two pieces knotted together. Then I took one string from each bunny, one side and put it through the three beads, which were just randomly sort of colored beads. I didn't really have a pattern to the color of the beads, except there was a white one in the middle on all of them. So after I put one string from each side through the beads, then the remainder string on that side would tie to the end that came through the beads. I hope that kind of makes sense. Um, it was just a way to attach them, but be decorative. I had to use like a skewer to push the second string through because of course it was a little bit thicker, right? There's not a whole bunch of room inside those beads. Anyway, so I did that, um, attaching all of them. I went, you know, the check and then the polka dot, check and polka dot. But then on the end ones, on my anchors, I added some of that gravel rock and just to anchor it down so that I could sort of put them on my shelves wherever I wanted, as you can see right here. So this is a larger garland. These are bigger things hanging on the garland. Um, I think it's very cute. I do think it would look cute in a nursery. Anyway, I hope you guys also really like this one. Again, very easy. A little more tedious with the beads. All right, now let's move on to the eggs. Wait, what? I love these glass stickers on these eggs. I think it's so simple, but very farmhouse elegant-ish. Okay, I talked about this when I did my haul. And like these are the wood egg ornaments. <clears throat> and then these are the glass stickers that come in a package. And so I'm gonna make pretty colored eggs. And But first, I'm like just outlining the egg with just a little bit of color, just to, a little pop on the edge. So just using your furniture marker and nothing else. And then just gonna put these stickers all over it, grab some jute twine, and make a nice garland. So finish that um, furniture marker around the edges there. It's the slightest little touch, but it does really make a pop. And then just randomly went through like putting these stickers on, and there's obviously a million different patterns you could do with it, however you want to do it. Fun, whatever visually was pleasing to me in the moment and then um, it only took like two of these sticker packages so that was pretty good and I really really like these and then after I got done doing those just grabbed my jute twine by the way I would suggest when you when you cut these off do it over a trash can rather than trying to pick up all these little stickers because they were kind of a pain to get up off my um, crafting mat anyway so after I get that all cleaned up and everything, I then take just a jute, a jute twine, and then I used an egg as my distance measure. So I knotted the first one on, and I get, just gave it a loop on the end so I, so I can hang it with a loop, and then used an egg to measure my distance before tying the next one on. And all this is is just, I just knotted it over the top. So I put the jute twine through it and then put a knot in it. Super easy. And use that egg just so that basically they were the same distance apart. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, just close. <laughs> so after I got all those done, then taking some, I had this burlap ribbon that Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree uses on a lot of their signs. Like they'll 
put a bow on a bunny or something and it's a thicker burlap ribbon but I always save it so I used that and then just straight jute twine and made some bows so that every other one was that right there that thicker burlap kind of ribbon they should sell it there I don't know why they don't I would buy it and then um, so I just did the burlap one and then the jute twine bow and I just dab a hot glue to put it down and that was it and then the garland was done so this is a shorter smaller garland or um, for a smaller area you could definitely put this um, on like the hall tree like you're gonna see it here or even on a shelf it would work great and it's just super cute very simple very cute farmhouse Easter maybe even boho maybe I don't know anyway you have to tell me guys what you think I like that but my favorite one is the next one. What? I love these carrots. This was the last garland I did. So it's funny because sometimes I feel like the, the more I craft, like the later ones will just come out better. But I'd actually thought of this the other day when I hauled those um, bottle brush carrots. So it was just putting all these elements together that were carrots, which is what gave me the idea to make this garland. Okay, this one's going to be a carrot garland. So I have the eight pieces of this one, 14 pieces of the little carrots. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these or not, but mm, maybe. And then possibly some of the orange beads. I'm just not sure yet, but I know I'm gonna use some jute twine. And this is gonna be another one that's very, um, <clears throat> just really farmhouse nature looking. Let's open up those packages. Um, so on this one, I take this carrot and obviously I'm gonna wrap jute twine around the neck of the carrot. Like three times, by the way. So I go one, two, three. Then I knot it. So at first I grab that little carrot and I tie it on there. I wasn't too sure. I was like, for some reason I sort of visually thought maybe it should sort of hang down a little bit. So I tried that. I tie it in the back get it to sort of hang down but that doesn't really work either <laughs> so I go back to putting it on the sort of collar I guess I would say of the carrot and tying it on there in the end I actually just really liked it I thought this was good it is visually appealing because we have the same element going on here in the wood and then the natural jute twine and we're just almost three-dimensionalizing it, just giving it another depth by putting a, some, another piece on top of it. Then you know I'm knotting the end of my jute twine, because I always do. I just like that. I usually want to do that. So I go ahead and do all of the carrots, get them all done. Number three times around the neck. Knot and tie on the mini carrots. Right, here we go. Tie that on with a knot. And then just knotting the ends and trimming. So that gives you the element, the main part of the garland. I do all those off camera. You didn't need to watch me doing, doing them all. They're exactly the same thing. Then I took the two, the bottle brush trees. So these have a loop on them for hanging. So I put one loop through the other to, you know, have them dangle, um, sort of one a little bit lower than the other. Then taking, I had six carrots left. So I put three on each side, wrapped around the neck, knotted, knotted the end of my jute twine, and cut a length of the string off of it. And then I just line my three little carrots up just so they're dangled sort of in a nice layered effect with the two bottle brush. Notice that's five things. Three little carrots, two big, five. I have odd numbers. And then um, when I tied them up on top to the bottle brush, my anchor part, just notice that I did definitely knot all my jute twine on the end. So as I'm stringing these on, I just want you to know, again, I just used the element of what we were making the garland with as my spacer, again. Um, and it's not perfect, it's just close enough. So that just works well because then your space between your carrots isn't any bigger than the space, the length of your thing that's on the garland. I hope that made sense. So now again, I'm going to do my anchor on this side. So tying those three off getting the five elements of the anchor together and then tying them all together and then knotting all my ends of my jute twine that's hanging down. So some of those tails had like three knots on them, some two, so on and so forth. And then just tied my garland on to my two anchors. 
It came out super cute. This is very farmhouse. I love that we just popped the orange right there on the anchor um, and then had the garnet. Oops, I just love this. This is definitely my favorite. So I hope you guys really like this one too. I hope you enjoyed the garlands for today on Theme Thursday. Let me know which one is your favorite. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget my giveaway.